Brian Gosling, you have officially redeemed yourself after Gangster Squad. Well done, sir. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Film Review, episode number 121. Here's my proof that I went to this screening, and today I'm bringing you guys an early review of the new film, The Place Beyond the Pines. The Place Beyond the Pines is directed by Derek C. and Friends, who previously directed Blue Valentine, and it stars Ryan Gosling, Bradley Cooper, Eva Mendes, and Dane DeHaan. Now, the film follows Luke Glanton, a carnival motorcyclist who returns to Schenectady, New York, to discover that he has a son from a previous one-night fling. He decides he wants to provide for his son by committing bank robberies, and the rest of the film jumps off of this fateful decision. The Place Beyond the Pines was one of my most anticipated films of 2013, simply because of the cast, the director, and all of the great buzz that was coming from the Toronto Film Festival. This is, quite simply, an absolutely outstanding film. The cast across the board here give remarkable performances. Ryan Gosling is terrific as Luke, as he balances both the rough edge side with the emotional element extremely well, making Luke a very flawed but empathetic character. Bradley Cooper gives what is his best performance to date as Avery Cross, a cop that crosses paths with Luke. He comes off very naturalistically as a man struggling with an ethical and personal dilemma, and he has some very powerful moments in the film that are beautifully executed. We also get great supporting work from the likes of Eva Mendes, Bruce Mendelsohn, and Ray Liotta, and Dane DeHaan continues to show why he's perhaps the best young actor around in a role that I will not spoil in the slightest. The direction by Derek C. in France is simply stunning. He is able to balance the intimate style that he exhibited in Blue Valentine, while also creating some amazingly visceral set pieces that'll have you on the edge of your seat. You may have noticed I'm being very vague right now, but it's for a reason. The best way to go into this film is knowing next to nothing about it. One of the best things about The Place Beyond the Pines is the way that it unfolds. It'll take you by surprise constantly, and it even pulls the rug out from under you in terms of its execution. What I will say, though, is that it is a film done with a surprisingly complex, epic scope, but it remains consistently intimate, poignant, and emotionally powerful. This is a film that will leave you stunned and stay with you for days and weeks on end. To call it an amazing crime drama is an understatement. It's just an incredible piece of cinema. Ultimately, I'm going to give The Place Beyond the Pines an A. I was absolutely blown away by this film. It's an epic, personal, intense, emotional, and powerful drama that will surprise you at every turn. It is far and away the best film I have seen all year so far, and I can guarantee that this will be in my top five by the end of the year. Truly a remarkable film, and I highly recommend you all check this film out when it hits theaters on March 29th. So that's it for this review. My next review will probably be up tomorrow when I review Oz the Great and Powerful, the new prequel starring James Franco and directed by Sam Raimi. And if you like this review, hit that subscribe button down there so you can get more reviews from me. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the other side.